I'm going to show you a pretty cool hack for your Mac. Go ahead and go to Finder. Um, this is going to basically change the um, names in the dock. As you can see, right now it's quit, but we're going to change it to something else. So go to your desktop. Uh, now go to System and click on the Library. Uh, now click on Core Services with the X on the file, it's the only one. You're going to want to scroll down until you find Dock, it's the little blue thing. Instead of clicking this, don't open this, hit Control click hit Show Package Contents. Now you can close that other window because we're not going to need that. Hit Contents, Resources, and scroll down until you find English. It's English.iproj. As you can see, it's right here. So go ahead and click on that. And it's going to say Doc Menu Strings. It's not going to be yellow like that. I just chose it to be like that. But um, before you do this, you're going to want to go to your file and um, hit Get Info because most administrator doesn't allow you to share it. Is the sharing and permissions. Uh, you can hide and show this. It looks like this normally, but when you click it like this, you want to uh, authenticate it. Authenticating it, just pressing this button, and you have in your password, and then you can uh, show the basically read and write, and make sure that your user, which is me, to read and write it. Okay, because that's what you want. You want to be able to modify doc menus. So now go ahead and open doc menu strings, and basically. This is a whole list of words in a doc. So, you know what it says left, bottom, right? You know, the magnification, open at login, open. When it says open, we can change that to. Oh, what's another word for open? Go or start. Let's do start. Okay, so you can change whatever you want. Um, let's see, how about we change for launch? I already changed it to redo. Uh, name should be name, unless you don't want to do that, but, uh, um, basically, that's it. Make sure you save this document, otherwise it's not going to make the changes to it, and that's when, that's where that problem comes along. So now go to X. Um, another thing you can do is, uh, we'll open HV Director all-in-one. Now, as you can see, it's still opening, but it says quit it right there because I've modified it to do that. Move from dock, open it lot, and show it find or hide, you know? You can do whatever you want with that. Since this isn't, this isn't working, we're going to try and get this up. I really want this up. Alright, well, this one's not working. Hard thing. I'm just going to quit it. Uh, let's just open up pages, okay? Alright, now, minimize. I'm going to close this, whatever. Oh, crap. Okay, to, this really pisses me off. Sorry. To minimize the page, hold down shift right before you do that. Automatically minimize it slowly. It's kind of gay, but it looks kind of cool. And one of my favorite things is you don't like flash in photo booth. Um, I hate flash because it makes your eyes look really weird. So go ahead and actually... Hello, hello. Go ahead and actually hold down shift while you're taking the picture. And it doesn't use flash. That's pretty cool, actually. Uh, you can also hold down a control, and it doesn't actually let you. Um, it doesn't. It stops the timer. Um, the last is um, hold down control, alt, and apple, and hold down number eight. Now it'll change the picture. The last last one. We'll do a couple more actually. If you hold down apple shift three, it actually takes a picture of the whole screen. And yeah, it will show up on your desktop right here. Eventually, it ends right there. It takes a picture of the whole. This is this is one to take a picture of the whole screen. Okay, well that's what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna close that. Um, now, if you want to change the size, hit Apple Shift Four, and basically my projectile is this, and I can choose whatever picture I want. I know I'll take that picture as well. Uh, I don't want this, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool to take a picture of the screen. Uh, these are all the tips that I've learned, and. Uh, um, my favorite one is probably to change all the names because you can really change it to whatever you want. Uh, I hope you have a good day. Uh, well, kind of, you know, bye.